Well, hello everybody and welcome to the custom crafting recipes video. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create any item using your enchantment table or furnace or any other, any other smithing tool. And then, for example, I have created a laser pointer. If I point a tree, I can actually blow it to the air just by right clicking it. Isn't that amazing? Of course it is amazing. Check it out. So when I'm going to go into my crafting table, I can actually create a custom super paper just by having books in it, just like that. And this one is something called shapeless recipe. So these positions do not matter as long as I have three pieces of books. There we go. And then we actually need four. One more. There we go. Perfect. And then I can go into my furnace and I can just place these four and turn them into a dick sword. Dick mora, if you are from Slovakia, you know what that means. And um, once we have four, of these swords can actually place them again and this time we have to maintain a strict position of these swords in the crafting to get our laser pointer are you ready for this i'm not ready for this are you ready for this let's go okay so i've created a new class called custom recipes which has a public static void register and we're going to be calling this from our main class in the on enable i can just call it from here custom recipes that register now guys before i proceed very important you have to understand all of these symbols and all of these egyptian you know hieroglyphs as someone has called them so if you don't know what override means if you don't know what public final class means if you just don't understand this code already you really need to learn java and the best way you can learn java is by following a proven system we actually have a course on java and minecraft plugins called project orion the link is in the description not only you are going to get seven weeks of full content just for minecraft plugins including bungee cord discord bots creation anti-cheats mini games guis and custom items like this one but also you're going to get a full java course with it including myself personally twice per week jumping on something called a live q a call where you can get one-on-one -on -one attention and if you don't like the course no worries because we have a full 30-day guarantee on the program so do yourself a favor if you need to learn more about it check the course out now in this video i'm just going to be cu covering custom recipes make sure to have seen the video in this series about custom items because we're going to be creating custom items so i'm not going to be spending too much time explaining how they how they work so first recipe which you have may seen is something just called a shapeless recipe and i can just call it recipe I don't know, recipe zero, because that one is, you know, just to begin things off. And the way you are going to create a new recipe in bucket is simply calling new shapeless recipe. Shapeless means it does not matter where in the crafting table um, you place these items. Now, if you look in the constructor of these things, shapeless let me just open this up you can see that there is two constructors the one is for the older minecraft version 1.8 up to i think 1.12 so if you're coding for the older minecraft release you can do that this one is used for modern minecraft releases so this is what we're going to be using it takes in a key which simply means the sort of unique um unique name of this and it needs a plugin instance and since this video will be built on the previous videos we already have main plugin instance in the main plugins class so i'm just going to call this and then it needs simply a string which can be i don't know this can be super paper recipe this does not matter as long as it is unique and then it also needs the item that we're going to be actually creating so i'm just going to create the custom item right now and there we go so i already covered how to create custom items in a separate video remember in this video i'm just going to paste this right here so if we are finished with this recipe this super paper is what it, what we are going to get now the way in bucket how we're going to get um sort of bucket to know what we're going to be putting inside the crafting table is by calling add ingredient and as you can see it has a bunch of stuff don't worry i'm going to be covering all of this in a minute so i'm just going to start off very simple with the integer count so we need three pieces and then i think it was material book that we had so if, if i put three pieces of pieces of book anywhere in the crafting table that's all we need we're going to be ending ending up having a super paper now before we go we need to call bucket that add recipe and then we need to create the recipe right here let me show you how that works okay guys now in the game if i open up a crafting table and i place three pieces of books 
any position, I'll end up with a super paper. I don't think it's going to work like this one. So we have to basically split it into three different slots. And here you can just generate as many as you wish, and it's going to automatically take care of the books. So bucket helps you a lot in this regard. Now, if you want to know which other recipes you can create, what I recommend, you know, using IntelliJ in your favor, just create a fa fake recipe uh, field or variable right here. And this is an interface. And if you select it and you go to the menu and go to help find action, type in Imapula implementation, select go to implementations. It's going to be giving you a full menu in this. And I know this was fast, so you can rewind the video, set the speed to 0.5 if you need to, to get this window. It is extremely handy because these are all the recipes which you can use. And I'm going to be picking up the second recipe, which I demonstrated called a furnace recipe. This one will simply be recipe one. And for logic's sake, I'll just place it below. And we're just going to be creating it in a very similar fashion. So first we need a namespaced key. Let me just copy this right here. And then super paper recipe, this will be a Dick's Ward recipe. And if I open this up, can I actually see all the different uh, things that you can place here. So here, we're not going to be using just material, but, but we need to force the furnace only to work when I place the super paper in it. So we need to place this super paper item stack inside the furnace. So we're going to be using something called recipe choice. And then the float simply means experience, how much experience you need to have. I think in, in creative, this is ignored. And then the cooking time in ticks, meaning uh, 20 is one second for the furnace to smelt it into this given result. Maybe the order of these things is a bit funky, but nevertheless, it is working just fine. So the first one, remember, was the namespace key. Then the item stack, I think this one, the item stack is the result. And the result is going to be another custom item. Let me just create it. There we go. I now created the item stack again. And let me just place it in here as the result of this furnace. Now opening this and looking at it again, now we need to specify which material we can put inside the furnace for this to smell. Unfortunately, you are not able to, let me just give myself a furnace. So you're not really able to influence this right here, what goes in here, but only what goes up here. And then what is the result? So the result is the sword and the input of this um, needs to be the super paper. So the way we're going to do that, we're going to be opening the recipe choice class inside of which there's a bunch of other classes in bucket. You can experiment with these other classes. I'm just going to teach you the exact choice, which simply means if we place in the super paper, if we place in the super paper here, it will produce the dig sword over here. Okay. So this is how it works. Experience. I'm just, I'm just going to set it to 10, very low number, and then I'll set 20. That means one second smelling time. Don't forget to register the recipe like this. Let's go and let's test it out. Okay, guys. Now, if I go and I place some coal or any other smelting ingredient into it, into a furnace, and then I place the super powder, uh, super paper. Now we have a dig sword right here again. There we go. And you can even place more of these, although since these are not stackable, you'd have to manually just take them out. There we go. So now we have four and now it's, we're time. It's time to finish off this video by creating the final recipe. This time it is very similar to the shapeless recipe. However, we need to, to have these swords in a particular position like this one. So this is called a shape and likewise for in bucket, there is something called a shaped recipe, which works like this. Very similar. Again, it needs a namespaced key and then it needs the item that it will produce. Let me just create a custom item. There we go. I now made the custom item again behind the scenes, guys. If you want to create these items, we have a custom video in this very free tutorial series. Check that out instead. And then I simply place it right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the recipe, not recipes. Sorry, that is a typo. And here, instead of add ingredient, we have set ingredient and it, it needs something called a char. Okay. So this is a key which you can specify in the shape right here. And the shape is basically just a bunch of strings, the row. So we can just create them like that. And here, basically what you can do, you can just create different numbers. If I do space, D space, space, D space. And then again, this means that it has to be like this, right? 
And then if I go to say like this one, that it means that it has to be like this. And then if I go and make it like this, it means, whoops, that it has to be like this. Obviously, you can specify multiple items. If you want to have a book in the middle, you can do something like this. And then recipe two. Now you can set the ingredient and the character. Um, the D right here needs to be what? It needs to be the Dixford. Fun enough. And then the recipe two. Set ingredient B needs to be a simple book. So we can actually just create it right now because we don't have any custom metadata on it. Now, of course, guys, the most common mistake is people always forgetting to register the recipe. So make sure that you do register the recipe right after you create it, and then you can add these uh, things later on. There we go. Let me go into the game and let me test it. Okay, guys, now in the game again, if I attempt to place my dick swords like this, like you've seen in the intro, it's not going to work because it requires a book right in the middle. And as you can see, this is sensitive to shape. There we go. And now if I get the laser pointer and I attempt clicking, I see no laser because this video only covers recipes. There we go. And I'll have to make another one how to get this laser pointer to function. If you want to learn more like this, including how to build very advanced animations using vectors and mathematics and laser pointers, check the Project Orion class. We have a lot of videos on creating custom items and really, really amazing, really big projects, including custom entities, claims, regions, and all that good stuff. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And of course, I don't want to lie to you guys. I'll make another one where we're going to be actually creating this functionality of the laser pointer. So I'll see you guys in the next one. But only if you subscribe to this channel, because otherwise I have no motivation to do it. I do it completely for free. So make sure, do me a quick favor, subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys there.